$14,437 in total on Udemy. Cut. What are you doing? Why would you just blurt out the main reveal I'm of sorry. the video uh, the instant it starts? I shouldn't Do have. Right, I'm you shouldn't sorry. have done it. It's meant to be the reason the viewers are still sticking around. Keep them hanging on. You need to find a way to get the viewers to stick around for the whole of the video. I mention that in the next clip. I will. I, I will. Yeah, you you do that. Don't, please don't fire me. Action. There's so much more than just the total earnings since August 2017. Well, we'll be looking at earnings over time, month by month, so we can have a look at trends. And we'll also be looking at average instructor share per enrollment. There's some good stuff here, including me sharing a lot of my Udemy dashboard. Before we go any further, we need to make a couple of important items clear. Firstly, the sharing of this information is first and foremost to give you an understanding of what you could earn on Udemy. It is not in any way a form of minor gloat. I wouldn't do that. Secondly, I worked on these courses with a friend that shall not be named because I haven't asked them. And because of this, when I share Udemy dashboards, the total will be lower than the $14,000 figure that I've just given you. Give me 40 seconds to explain, as this will clear up some confusion. So here's how it works. Way back in 2017, I asked a friend if they wanted to make an Udemy course on engineering topics, and he said, okay. We made these two courses, and we each took 50% share from both. We used a single account, which is the Learned Brand account, up until 2020. 20, where we then found you can split earnings and send them to individual accounts. So this shows a total of $8,241, mine shows a total of $4,177, and my friend's account shows a total of $2,019, as subsequent courses created have different earning splits. Combined together, that totals $14,437. <sighs> So, though I wish it all showed up in one account so that it would appear better in this video, I simply can't do that. Let's get into the details of these earnings. Cut! What? Okay. What are you doing? You're taking too long to get into the you meat of the video. You just told me that stuff before was important for the rest of the video. All right, come on, action. Let's look at how the earnings performed over time starting at the beginning. This is the combined share of myself and the co-creator. So in the top corner, you can see this is the Learned Brand account with the date range starting at August 2017, which switches over in September 2020. The headlines are shown here with $8,241 earned during that time period, 3,714 enrollments, and that enrollment figure is actually from August 2017 to date. So we've actually really taught quite a number of people and which is something I'm really quite proud of. And then we've got our instructor rating, which is a reasonable 4.3. Now the juicy part of this page is this graph, which is currently showing for all four of our courses combined. So our first month earned $88, which was a surprise. And you can see that there was a general upward trend for basically all of the time that we had this combined account receiving the earnings we could draw that crude line of best fit like so. The earnings peaked in May 2020, which was in the middle of the pandemic, in many cases where people were asked to stay indoors at home with nothing to do. Udemy in general said that this was a successful month for most instructors, as well as themselves. You can see that the earnings did vary quite a bit from month to month. March to May 2020 varied by $340, but that's perhaps a bit unfair due to an unprecedented scenario. Towards the end of this chart, the courses were earning around $250 to $300 every month, which I think was really healthy for this product. Now I'll stress that these courses should not be mainstream. They've probably got quite a small audience. So though $14,000 might be quite small compared to other instructors, I think these courses have done quite well for what they are. We can continue past September 2020 by looking at my personal account, which when you look at this total figure and the numbers in this chart, you need to add around 50% to each number. So if you continued on from the previous chart, you would see a bit of a drop and then a peak in November. Now, November, December and January are important Udemy months as that's when they push a big marketing campaign. If you're a course creator, then you must not miss these months when you release your first course. 
and then you can see the figures are declining. The average looks to be around 220-ish and you can add that 50% on here to get about $180 over here. But the last few months indicate that maybe it could be picking up a bit. Uh, what now? Okay. I've been talking what about doing? what you wanted me to talk about. Waffling. Stuff. Uh, uh, just let me finish. They, they want to hear this stuff. Fine. Action. An illustration of what combining all of the accounts would look like is this, where you can see that the courses have not been growing from the peak in April and May 2020. Instead, it's been a bit of a drop, but remains sort of steady. So what about average earnings per enrollment? Whoa, that's a difficult question. Just remember that averages, particularly the mean average, varies massively with outliers. So in our case, we could get a massive spread in average instructor earnings. The more enrollments included in these averages, the closer our figure will be to the true average. Okay, so let's start with the basic of $14,437 in total divided by 3,714 enrollments, and that gives an average earning per enrollment of $3.89. Yeah, very different I'm sure from what you're expecting. I could show you this view of earnings by combining the left side of the screen with the right side of the screen with the screen that I don't have, but I can calculate which results in the top course receiving an average of $4.20 per enrollment, the next $3.19 per enrollment, then $3.90 per enrollment, and lastly $3.81 per enrollment. I could pick some random dates, for example, November 2017, right near the beginning of the release of these first two courses, where in that month we got an average of $4.09, or an average of $3.31 during our biggest peak in May 2020. If I look at the three recent months, November 22, December 22 and January 23, they would have been $3.59, $3.95 and $4.63 respectively. These numbers are bunched up around the $4 mark, which is the average instructor share I assume when running any calculations it's roughly the value you'd get. There are, however, some areas where Udemy earnings are dropping, as indicated by the lines on this graph. And in this video, I show you exactly what's going on here. 